ever agreed. I just want to take a second and take it all in. You know. I'm James Adamas. Good afternoon and welcome to the Antioch University Santa Barbara commencement for 2011, or 2011, however you want to say it. I would like to welcome the administrators, faculty, staff, friends, and family, and family watching over us to this, joy, to this joyous occasion. To my, fellow, uh, to my fellow graduates, all I can say is, we did. We have taken many paths to get here. Our paths are as varied as each individual here. However, each one of us now has Antioch in common. We accessed the Antioch spirit, the core values, and brought those into our daily lives. Though sometimes we did not realize it until we had that aha moment. We took on and looked at the world around us and what our role was in it when we began this educational journey. Many of us already knew the wrongs around us and having the degree in hand gave us a much better voice and credibility to affect change. We face many challenges ahead in our lives with social change and change in general for the betterment of our human society. There will be resistance all along, up. There will, there will be resistance along the way. There will be naysayers and people who will resist you at every turn or fork in the road. But there is something that we learned while here at our wonderful school. We learned that together, in collaboration and like minds, we can move mountains. We may not always agree on the methodology or even the subject matter, but we do agree that something must be done. No longer can we sit idly by and watch as our homeless get stepped over or looked down upon. No longer can we endure the evils that humans do to other humans. No longer can we allow our returning veterans, broken and hurting inside, be seen as second-class citizens. There's a few of us vets out here, I'm running. No longer can we allow people of color to be oppressed, sometime from within their own society. No longer must we allow our elderly, mentally, and physically challenged to be treated poorly or neglected. No longer must we allow our children to receive a poor education. We now have further credibility with our diplomas in hand. We can now do something about all that I mentioned, though I'm sure I forgot some of the things that you're thinking about, but whatever you're thinking about, you can now do something about it. You now have more credibility and voice than before. I find it strange that a small piece of paper gives us that credibility that others require. But we saw that no one would see us or hear us, uh, see or hear our voice unless we had that piece of paper. We have it. Let's use it to help change the world. Let them hear your voice. Let them see you. Passion will be your driving force, much like it was to attain your diploma. I recently saw an interview, yeah, it was Oprah, <laughs> where author Toni Morrison said, when a child walks into a room, do you smile? Are you genuinely happy to see them? What would your children say about you and learn from you? You can't fake it. They and everybody else will see right through you. Your passion will carry you. It is your sacred place, as Ms. Morrison says. Maya Angelou, Maya Angelou said, when you know better, you do better. And to all the naysayers out there, we say in unity, we did it, we achieved it, listen, we are Antiochians. Thank you.